Hello and welcome to the Monroe Public Library. I'm Laura the Librarian and I'm here today to share some staff picks with you. This month I have been really inspired by the fact that A Wrinkle in Time is coming out in the movie theater soon. Now, A Wrinkle in Time is one of my all-time favorite books since I was a kid, when I was a slightly older kid, when I was an adult, you know, it's just one of those perennial classics that is great every time you read it. So this month I thought I would highlight some books that you could read um, if you're on the hold list for A Wrinkle in Time or if you haven't seen the movie yet and you want to read something in the same vein or after you see it and you're like, ah, oh, what else am I going to read? What else am I going to watch and listen to? What should be on my list next? I've got some ideas for you. So Madeline Langle was a very prolific author and the first of her books to be published was A Wrinkle in Time. And after that she wrote, I hesitate to say four because it's more like five or 30, depending on your definition, books that fall into the same series. There are really five with the same cast of characters in them. And the second one is A Wind in the Door. And A Wind in the Door is its just kind of the second part of Meg's exciting journey. She has another battle to fight, this time on a microscopic level, and it deals a lot more with um, the troubles she had in school, the fact that she didn't really get along with her peers or the principal and teachers and other people in power. And this one has a lot more of a medical bent to it than the first one, which has a lot of astrophysics and spacey stuff in it. So a few years ago, When You Reach Me by Rebecca Stead, When You Reach Me by Rebecca Stead came out and it won the Newbery that year. This book is amazing. Um, it pays homage to A Wrinkle in Time in several different ways. It has this just pitch perfect depiction of New York City in the 70s. I think it's the 70s. And uh, the main character, Miranda, how she's kind of a latchkey kid and has to learn how to fend for herself. Um, and she has a lot in common with, with Meg in that way. Um, but the way that this book references A Wrinkle in Time is really <laughs> awesome and interesting. And also, I just really highly recommend Rebecca Stead. Everything she's written is great. Uh, I particularly like her first book, which is called First Light. So um, one of the things I know a lot of people like about Madeline Langle is that their um, her books for kids are really great to um, read aloud with your family because they're about families. And there's always a lot going on in terms of those little relationships that happen between parents and kids and siblings and how family dynamics can be a really interesting part of your daily life. So if you like reading books about families, you should definitely read anything by Hilary McKay. And this is the first in her series about Binny and it's called Binny for short by Hilary McKay. Um, it's just, it's a great family story. I love Hilary McKay so much. She's got a little bit of that like dry humor too. Um, They're just really delightful books. Another one for the kiddos, if they are interested in reading about kind of unconventional heroines, girls in positions of power that they never really expected to be in, this little graphic novel called Hereville by Barry Deutsch, I forgot his name for a sec, Hereville by Barry Deutsch is really just a delightful trip. Uh, there's currently three books in this series, and it's about Mirka. The first one is subtitled How Mirka Got Her Sword, and she is a very imaginative, slightly rebellious, 11-year-old uh, Orthodox Jewish girl. And the things that happen to her really kind of ride the line between reality and imagination. It's great. This series is awesome.